Turn to textbook page 160, 160쪽, grammar 15.5, the closer connected 고 나서. This expression 고 나서, after ing is used when one event or activity has just been finished and another is forthcoming. The event in the main clause occurs after the first action is finished. This expression is attached only to a verb stem, not to an adjective stem. Note that the past tense is not used in the first clause. Because it's more like an um, um, uh, action oriented. So, you know, as I just explained, you cannot use adjective stem. And you cannot use a past tense. So, for example, uh, uh, after eating breakfast, you can say, 아침을 먹고 나서. 어, 샤워를 해요. So, uh, you first uh, um, taking a, uh, you first eating breakfast and then taking a shower. How do you say this? 아침을 먹고 나서 I take a shower. So the first action should take place before the second, uh, the main, the action in main, main clause. Uh, 샤워를 하고 나서 after taking a shower and I go to school. Like this. Okay, let's just focus on the form first of all. So after eating, how do you say this? 먹고 나서 After sleeping, 자고 나서 After watching, 보고 나서 After walking, 걷고 나서 Notice that although 걷다 is a ticket irregular, the form does not change because it's followed by consonant which is 고, 고. 만들다, 만들고 나서 마시다, 마시고 나서 세수하다, uh, washing of face, after washing of face, 세수하고 나서. So conjugation is pretty easy. Now, how do you combine the activities using 고 나서? So always keep that in mind. The first action is completed and after that you engage in another action. 공부해요. 그리고 텔레비전을 봐요. How do you say this? What is 공부하다? STEM. 공부하. 하. So 공부하고 나서 텔레비전을 봐요. Number two. 졸업해요. 그리고 한국에 여행 가요. How do you say after graduation, I go to, um, I travel to Korea. 졸업하고 나서 한국에 여행 가요. Number three. 한국어를 배워요. 그리고 한국에서 일해요. How do you say this? 한국어를 배우고 나서 한국에서 일해요. So always we have to uh, the, uh, consider the first step, not a you know, polite conjugation form. Then how do you say after drinking coffee, I read a newspaper? 커피를 마시고 나서 신문을 읽어요. How about after reading a newspaper, I eat breakfast? 신문을 읽고 나서 아침을 먹어요. How about after eating breakfast, I call my friend? 아침을 먹고 나서 친구한테 전화해요. After calling my friend, how do you say this? 친구한테 전화하고 나서 테니스를 쳐요. How about after eating meal, I brush my teeth? How do you say this? 밥을 먹고 나서 이를 닦아요. After exercising, I take a shower. 운동하고 나서 샤워를 해요. After doing my homework, I watch Korean drama. How do you say this? 숙제하고 나서 한국 드라마를 봐요. After cleaning, I wash the dishes. How do you say this? 청소하고 나서 설거지를 했어요. So notice that tense is always expressed at the end of the sentence. Eat food after washing your hands. How do you say this? 손을 씻고 나서 음식을 먹어요. Go to sleep after washing your face. How do you say this? 세수하고 나서 자요. Or 주무세요. Depending on the subject. On the big expression, 주무세요. 
Do the dishes after cooking. Cooking, 요리하다. 요리하고 나서 설거지 하세요. After waking you up, I practiced taekwondo. How do you say this? 일어나서 태권도를 연습했어요. But at the same time, you can use 서. It's very similar to 고 나서. However, so depending on the verb, some verb, um, it's natural to use 서 instead of 고 나서. For 일어나다, um, 서 it seems to be um, uh, more natural than uh, 고 나서. Now, uh, just combine these two and create a one uh, uh, sentence. 아침을 먹고 나서 학교에 가요. 샤워하고 나서 옷을 입어요. 저녁을 먹고 나서 운동해요. Now, ask and answer the following question. 저녁 먹고 나서 뭐 했어요? What did you do after eating dinner yesterday? Number two. 오늘 수업 끝나고 나서 뭐할 거예요? What are you going to do after class is over today? Number three. 졸업하고 나서 뭐 하고 싶어요? What would you like to do after graduation?